live interview up close and personal with Tommy Page. Tommy Page. Halo, sekarang kita lagi persiapan. Kita mau interview uh, Tommy Page lewat Skype call. Dan kita lagi nunggu Tommy Page buat online. Halo, saya Cindy dari Pas FM Radio Bisnis Solo di live interview with Tommy Page. Hello. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? This is Pass FM. Pass FM Radio Business Solo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Oh, I want to greet my listener first before we start the interview. Is it okay? Okay. Hi, this is Cindy. So, this June, an American singer will have two concerts in Indonesia, one in Jakarta and one in Solo. And I'm very glad because I get to talk about the concerts and to talk about the singer himself with he himself. Tommy Page is with me on a Skype call. Hello. Okay, and uh, I heard that Titi DJ, a famous Indonesian singer, is mentioned to be uh, at the concerts too. Will she open the show or will she collaborate with you, sing with you? Well, I think both. I think she's going to do her own set, but we definitely have been working on songs together. So we will perform together as well as we'll do our own our own sets. Oh, that's very cool. I met Tiki DJ last time I went to Indonesia, mm-hmm. and we got along very well as friends. Okay. So she came to my show, and I, I told her that someday I'd like to perform with her. So this is going to be exciting for me to share the stage with her. Will there be any differences between the uh, past concerts and the upcoming ones? Yes, there are some songs I'm going to perform. What I decided to do was go on Twitter and ask my fans what song the messages from all my fans. Oh, very cool. All the fans. And yeah, there are a couple songs that the fans asked me to perform, and um, it will be a surprise when I perform it. Okay, talking about Twitter, I saw you tweet on April 17th saying, Indonesia, I'm coming home. Wow, it's so lovely of you. What makes Indonesia feel like home to you? Well, I, I, I grew up there, in a way. I was just a teenager when I first went to Indonesia. And it's one of the first places in the world that helped me realize my dream. Mm-hmm. And so I went for many, many years without performing. I, I thought I was going to retire from performing. <laughs> and then a couple of years ago, I got um, an offer to come to Jakarta to do a show. Mm-hmm. And at first I said no, because I was afraid nobody would show up to see me. And I was, as the date got closer and closer, I got very scared. When I landed on the airplane in Jakarta, I think it was you know, 2015, mm-hmm. I was greeted at the airport by many fans, and my concert sold out that night in Jakarta. Mm-hmm. And it was a spiritual situation. It was, it was the most special time of my life to have all these fans um, still be there. It really, um, Indonesia really defines the word loyalty to me. Like it is, it is proven to be, the people of Indonesia have proven to be the most loyal fans in the world to me. So for that reason, um, Indonesia is in my heart and it will always be a part of me. Oh, very lovely. Okay, I'm going to talk about uh, your fourth album a little bit, A Friend to Rely On. It was mentioned as an appreciation from you to fans in Asia. What makes you so close to Asia? When I was um, just 18 years old and I got my first record deal, I went to Hong Kong was the first place I went to in Asia. Mm -hmm. And I was um, really blown away that um, they liked my music. I thought, I'm just this skinny kid from New Jersey and no one in my family had ever been to Asia. And I didn't understand at the time why the fans in Asia connected with my music. Mm -hmm. And... Even today, I don't understand it. Not in a bad way, but <laughs> in, 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 a, in, a, in a fascinating, magical way. My music has become biggest in Singapore and in Malaysia and in Indonesia and in Taiwan and Korea. Um, you tell me, why do, why, why, does, um, why do the Asian fans like Age? Why? Well, because we love your music. I really love a shoulder to cry on and I'll be your everything and we just love like the way you always treat us like fans in Indonesia because you're so kind and then you're just so lovely and you consider us like not fans as you said previously that you said we're like family or we're like friends. Yeah. Do you think I look like I'm Indonesian a little bit? I think I think when I go to Indonesia too, um, a lot of people have the same kind of hair as me. And- <laughs> 
Although, although when I was a kid, I had a lot of hair. <laughs> and remember, I used to have this hair that flopped in my face. And then I would go, I would go to uh, Jakarta and all the fans would be there. And people would say, oh, he's got a Tommy Page haircut. And <laughs> Right now, in my 40s, mm-hmm. I'm happy to have the hair that I have, but I certainly don't have the amount of hair that I had when I was in my 20s. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. I think we're done. Wait, wait, wait. I'm enjoying this. Keep going. Okay. I want you to let actually... Me ask you, let me ask you one. Okay. So you're interviewing me right now? Yeah, really quick. Okay. Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera? Christina Aguilera, for sure. Okay. Um, Prince or Madonna? Madonna. Prince or Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay. um, New York or Tokyo? Uh, I don't know. I think New York. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> um, winter or summer? Summer, of course. Definitely. I don't like to be cold, you know. Okay. Uh, one last one. TV or radio? Radio. Definitely. Yay! Okay, before I finish this, would you please say hi to my listeners and then invite them to come to your concerts before we say goodbye? Hi, this is Tommy Page, and I say hi to all the listeners of Pass FM. Thank you for supporting me and my music, and I look forward to seeing you at my show in Solo on June 3rd. I love you very much, and I can't wait to come to Indonesia. Okay, Tommy, it's nice to talk to you. Thank you very much for your time. Good luck on your concert. We love you. Bye. Thank you. This was one of my most fun interviews. Really? You were great. Thank you. Yes. Seriously. Thank you. Bye. Oke, okay, baru saja saya selesai interview dengan Tommy Page via Skype. Tadi sangat fun sekali. Uh, dia juga menunjukkan salah satu video yang dikirimkan oleh teman-teman dia mengucapkan selamat ulang tahun karena kebetulan hari ini adalah hari ulang tahunnya Tommy Page. Nah, jangan lupa uh, nanti datang ke konsernya Tommy Page tanggal 3 Juni di Solo dan juga 4 Juni di Jakarta. Saya Cindy, terima kasih. Bye-bye. I'll be your